Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So as you see right in front of you, I finally got around to making uh, my vermin lard. I went with the, the, the deceiver. Um, it was a close choice. I think maybe I would have went with the corruptor if I had to do another one. Um, but the warp seer guy is pretty cool as well. But um, I absolutely love this model. Um, it's I just have the body glued. But the arms, the head and the tail are just blue tagged in. Just to get a look at it um, in its hole. So um, it's it, it's big. I don't know how big Nagash is because I, didn't, I haven't seen it in person. But this is pretty impressive. So he's, um, when you're putting it together and you see the sprues you're thinking, oh it's not that big. But um, if I put this, there's a, actually I'll put this one here. This guy might be a little bit bigger. Um, Storm Vermin guy. I mean, look at the size difference. He's about, like, easily about three times taller than the Storm Vermin. Um, there's a pot of paint. It's about three times the same, you know. It's absolutely massive. Um, and he looks awesome. If I had to put this guy on my wall now without painting it it still look pretty cool um, it went together pretty easy the only trouble I had was a bit with the head um, I forgot to put one of the, the kind of actually I'll take it off now and I'll show you I think it should come out was the cloth piece there I had to snip an extra bit off just to get it to fit in um, other than that it was just it was pretty much nearly straightforward um, I have seen one guy has magnetized these. I haven't got a hope in hell of me trying to magnetize it. Um, I wasn't too fond of the tail when I seen it first, but like in person, it's just so much better. It's so much nicer. It's an absolutely beautiful model. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything else to scale. Like there's Games Workshop glue. It's taller than that. It's massive. Um. As for painting wise, I'm just going to paint them pretty much the colours that's on the box. And um, there's no set scheme I have for my Skaven army, colour wise. Um, just whatever, just go along with whatever's on the box. So um, so yeah, I went together pretty easy. Uh, it's not too many bits. There's a lot of big bits. I just see want a better look at the weapon. The throwing star thing with little, and you have like blood or poison dripping out of it. Um, then you have the other, I don't know the names, but the little kind of dagger thing. It's a little, uh, I think it's like a brace or what you call that. And then the head comes off. The heads are really impressive, the heads are absolutely deadly. I wasn't mad on the horns, but just looking at it here in person, it's. Uh, it's the daily. They're brilliant. There's a lot of fur on these. Like you, just, I just automatically just didn't even notice it until I put it together. It's like a whole back. The whole back of it is fur. Even most of the legs. Uh, and there's a good bit on the shoulders and the rest. And there's just a lot of skin to go on it. Um, and then the base. The kind of little bit of scenic base you get with it. Um. You know, just a bit of rock with like two or three little mice going around the bottom of it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, and I have seen an unboxing of Tankwill and Bone Ripper that I think is Mammoth Studios did. And they got in that kit. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of you know little mice to go around the bottom, which you will or which you could use for uh, rat swarms. So it's a pity none of them came in this one. Or like a few little nice little spare wrap bits going around. So that's it. That's just a quick look at well not too quick. Um look at it assembled. Uh so far I love it. You know, it's pretty intimidating to paint. It's awesome the way it is and I just I really can't wait to get it finished and get it all done up and all see what's like then. So um 
you know I'll do a few updates as I'm painting along with it and uh, so uh, let me know what you guys think um, if any of you have got it let me know what you think what ones you have made um, yeah hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't so um, I'll see you guys in the next update thanks for watching